Today we have some massive stories, starting with the most wild GPU ever. NVIDIA's RTX 5090 is even better than we thought, AMD confirmed that their next GPU is on the way, and GPU prices are about to go up again? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we get a new look at the RTX 4090 Ti that'll never be. And let's just say, this is one wild card. The story comes from Tech Power Up, and as you can see, this GPU is weird. Not only is it absolutely massive with its four slot design, but as you can see in this image, there's a third fan in the center of the aluminum fin stack. It's apparently a conveyor fan that helps the other two fans out. According to the original poster who shared the images, there are a total of 22 heat pipes, making this card an absolute champ in terms of heat dissipation. Unfortunately, as I went over in a previous video, the card has apparently been cancelled. This was likely made as a solution if AMD released a more powerful card than the 4090, so given they didn't, Nvidia doesn't have a real reason to release it. Still, it would have at least been interesting to see what it could do. Next up for today, Nvidia's RTX 50 cards are even better than we thought. But first, if you haven't started your course in computer science with Brilliant, now's the perfect time. Because for a limited time, when you visit Brilliant.org slash GamerMeld, you can try it out for 30 days absolutely free. And while Brilliant did sponsor today's video, I can't vouch for their service enough. Simply put, they were made to teach the STEM field, and it shows. If you're the type of person who likes a more hands-on approach, Brilliant is for you. See, they teach you by getting you to actually do it yourself, so no more sitting around memorizing formulas or listening to boring lectures. Brilliant uses these fun and interesting puzzles so you're learning while doing. But don't take my word for it, because when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld right now, you'll get a 30-day free trial. So there's really no reason not to at least give them a try. I love them, and I know you will too. Plus, when you're ready for more, and you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get 20% off the premium. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermeld. Now back to the story, we have an update on specs for Nvidia's RTX 50 cards by a new video from the known leaker Red Gaming Tech. As you can see, we have some very interesting specs when it comes to Nvidia's next-gen cards. Starting things off, we know that these are based on Nvidia's Blackwell architecture, but apparently it's split up into two different processes. According to his sources, the higher-end cards like the 5090 are built on TSMC's 3 nanometer process, while the lower-end cards are using their 4 nanometer process. Both of these are apparently monolithic dies, with the HPC part being a chiplet design. He's also hearing that next gen will in fact use GDDR7 like we recently saw, and they apparently support 24 gigabit modules, which means a whopping 12 gigabyte capacity on a measly 128 bit bus. So great news there. Not only that, but Nvidia is apparently targeting 3 gigahertz clocks, as well as a new SM structure and nearly two times the performance when compared to last gen. Finally, it looks like we we can expect a big performance increase in terms of ray tracing. We're talking double the ray triangle intersection performance as well as a denoising accelerator. Ultimately, it's looking like Nvidia is planning to go all out for their next gen GPUs. Next up, AMD just confirmed that their next major gaming GPU is on the way. The comments come from the company's Q2 earnings call, where AMD's CEO, Lisa Su, stated, quote, In gaming graphics, we expanded our Radeon 7000 GPU series in the second quarter with the launch of our mainstream RX 7600 cards for 1080p gaming. We are on track to further expand our RDNA 3 GPU offerings with the launch of new Enthusiast Class Radeon 7000 series cards in the third quarter. So there you have it, it's coming by the end of this quarter. As far as what GPU it is, she mentioned Enthusiast Class Radeon 7000, and you may be thinking that means another 7900 GPU. But keep in mind that AMD actually calls their 7900 series Ultra Enthusiast, so it's almost definitely something like the RX 7800 XT, as well as other cards because don't forget that they said cards plural. Remember that we've been hearing about the 7700 and 7800 series for a little while now. More specifically, 
specifically that they'd be coming by the end of this quarter. And of course, you'd know that if you were subscribed to the channel. So I definitely suggest doing that if you haven't already. As for why AMD's releasing these so late, we don't know for sure, but some rumors have suggested an overstock of last gen and things like that. So maybe AMD has finally gotten RX 6000 cards down to a lower stock level. Either way, AMD's next GPU is coming soon. And lastly for today, I have some terrible news. If you haven't been living under a rock, you know that AI is kind of a thing right now. And by kind of, I mean everyone's talking about it non-stop. But it isn't just some fad, at least that's what companies are banking on, as they invest billions into its future. Unfortunately, like crypto's Ethereum before it, AI is mostly powered by one thing, graphics cards. So much so that a recent story broke that claims demand for generative AI has reached a level where in China, NVIDIA's H800 GPU reached as high as $70,000 per GPU. Basically, demand is beginning to outstrip supply. Which brings me to this report by Tom's Hardware. According to the story, the AI industry is beginning to turn to gaming GPUs. Impossible. Proof of this comes from a tweet by the head of the comma.ai driver assistance system, George Hotz. As you can see, he mentions the compute performance coming from AMD, with a picture of boxes of GPUs, specifically the XFX Merc 7900 XTX. According to Tom's hardware, there are around 60 GPUs here. Not only that, but he claims that there are, quote, exaflops more to come. Basically with this, high demand in China and massive market growth expected in the coming years, we may soon face yet another massive jump in GPU prices. Hopefully AMD and Nvidia will be able to keep up with demand, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So while that does it for today, do you think GPU prices are on their way up? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant for 30 days free at brilliant.org slash gamermelt. And as always, have a great day!